Holy cow! Everyone's feral except for Ares! Ares, what has happened? Ha! Ah! Hello, Ares. Chef, how are you doing? Welcome, it's 92% feral. You might be the highest one so far. Everyone's pretty feral today. Oh, Elden Ring. Whoa. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Holy idiot. Oh, not Ares. Yeah, what the heck is going on? You had a long day? Me too. To be fair, I was less than four. I was less than 50%. I was like 40 something, right? What was I? 42. Yeah. Holy hell, even I'm high feral tonight. True. You guys. <sighs> We gotta win. Ares has been domesticated today. Yes, today she is just so chill and domest. Uh, listen, we gotta be the boss because I have to read the lore. But listen, I started making up crackpot theories already. I was like at my desk. I was like working. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, that makes sense. And then I was like making dinner, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, what about this? Oh my god, what about- I'm losing my mind already. I haven't even won yet. But I will win and listen up, okay? Question, answer, Aries. My hair is super messed up today. It is a mess. Lit. Lit song. I got to the Cathedral of Manus. Is there like any secret Cathedral of Manus? Oh, nothing. Th That's how you get the secret. That's how you there. You have to do the quest. Did you talk to him and did he give you give you items? I can't wait to find out about all the DLC lore. Dragon is. Oh, my God. It's so I won't lie. There's like way more questions than answers right now in my brain. But I think I'm starting to piece things together. Okay, you'll do that. Yeah. He gives you maps. Do the things on the maps. If you have questions about what that means, then I'll gladly answer it. But you got to do that. Yeah. Let me in! Yeah, we got a let me in emo. I can't believe I haven't had one of those yet. 7TV, always saving my life. Let me in. I love friends off ambiguity for the community to solve. Let yeah. Let me in! It's, it's like this delicious, this is why I love it so much, because it's like this really delicious puzzle we got to put together. He's all about almonds and stuff, right? Who? The loathsome dung eater? Te uh, technically, yes. See, actually, despite the dung eater, this is like base game stuff. This isn't even DLC. Despite the dung eater being like a big old, literally a piece of shit, um, his ending actually has kind of a fair and valid mm, kind of a fair and valid reasoning behind it like what happens if you do that ending is actually not horrible it's it's better than the perfect order ending the implications actually it's just that the dung eater is a piece of shit <laughs> he's a terrible disgusting individual <laughs> Are you siding with the shit slurper? Not, well, his intentions. He's like, if I'm, if everyone is cursed, then no one is. Yeah, exactly. And is the omen curse even a curse? In the Shadowlands, it's a blessing. So I think that's just um, something that Merica slapped, uh, label Merica slapped on that because she hates them, which is super fair based on what they've done to her. Are you sad? Yeah, I am. Yeah, he's like, if it's everyone cursed, then no one is. Exactly. His curses are certainly are horned up and stuff. Yeah. Hello, Betronic. Welcome in. <laughs> I love all the nicknames for the dung eater. Yeah, they're classic. They're great. I love them, too. They're so funny. Imagine if the horn scent knew about the dung eater. They would be like, okay, weirdo. <laughs> Kinky, but you do you, I guess. <laughs> mm. The dung eater would thrive in the Shadowlands. He wants everyone to be horny. Exactly. We're seeing America was once stuffed in a jar. That's one of my crackpot theories. But we'll get into it later. I have a, it's like a crackpot theory, but I feel like it makes sense once I like start explaining it. 
that's where you come in, chat. You get to poke holes and then we get to put the puzzle pieces together. Because I think I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to understand. Poo poo oh, plunderer. Yeah. The terrible turd taster. True. True. Also, uh, by the way, offline last night when I was practicing the final boss, I don't spoil who it is because Dragoness doesn't know. I don't want her. I don't want her. I wanted her to be spoiled. I just choked. I was practicing them. And I went and I did the paintings and they they gave an interesting lore bit that also I would like to look at with you guys. Um, and I also changed my build again. It's Bach. Yeah, the the Bach. Bach the Seepster. Totally the last boss for sure. He's been the villain the whole time. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I want you to be here while we have a little bit of like a little bit because yeah. You've done a good job of what you spoiled there so far. I congratulate you. I also, oh my lord, I also, I worked very hard. I was like, no social media the whole time. <laughs> Just to like post that I was live and that was it. And Instagram because it's safe there. Because I just have cat and cleaning videos and that's it. Can't be bad about that. I'm here for the vibe pre gay play talk. Let's go. Yeah. Let me in. And. Let me in. Love again, and also, I so I went and I killed, I killed uh, this one of the the side bosses I missed before, and then I did the paintings. I went and picked up the items from the paintings. I blame you. You've created a monster with that Levian reward. Levian, yeah, I got you, monsters. You just want to get in. Get in where, though? It's feral. Super feral. That's why we needed it. But yeah, I was trying to think. Oh, yeah, I changed my build. I changed my build. So I found out about the super mega bleed weapon that looks like a, a chicken leg. And I was like, ooh, cool. I want to test this. So I changed my build back to, like, strength-based. And now I can use a really good shield, and we're golden. The cheese is, is going to be easy. I already tested it. It's going to be easy. Quick question. How's the DLC rank compared to other FromSoft DLC? Well, I've only played Dark Souls 3 DLC. And this is 100% the best. Let me in. Let me in. True. This is, the this is one of the best DLCs I've ever played, period. Like, this has been absolutely incredible. Like, it's really tough, which I love because I love really difficult things. But the music and the boss designs and the story and, like, everything. Old Hunters is hard to top, but this could be it. Yeah. See, but I haven't played I haven't played Bloodborne, so, like, I can't put it on my list, unfortunately. Or else it would probably be up there. It would probably be up there, but this is probably the best DLC I've ever played, period. It's just so good. It's amazing. It's so, it's been worth every single penny I've spent. I saw a couple of hours of last year to watch the second phase of the last boss. It looks amazing. Oh my lord. It is amazing. And get, but wait, there's more. So, yeah, it's wild. They're like, mm, mm, when do I attack you? That's funny. You don't. <laughs> They're insane. It's super worth, super cool. I was practicing without shield last night because I was like, I just want to get good. I want to get good. I don't want to cheese, but we're probably still going to cheese because I want to see the end. Go get that PS5. I true. I need to. He's only got 500,000 health. Yeah. And they did do like a mini update where they scaled us up. They didn't nerf anything. They scaled us up. <laughs> they were like, yeah, we'll give you a little boost. Although I don't have. I don't have all of the the skadoosh tree fragments i have up to 15 and i have zero idea what i'm missing i thought i was pretty damn thorough and um apparently not yeah why would you need a turn to attack yeah exactly i love the ds3 and bloodborne so this being a step up is really exciting yeah the music holy crap i got it with like um because i got the collector's edition I've been like holding off on like putting in my little code because I was like, I don't want anything to get spoiled because it'll tell me the name of the bosses. I'm stalling. I am stalling. We're going to technically, we're going to be stalling a lot. 
Um, because we're going to be talking about war when we're done. And, um, if this goes the way I want, <laughs> go finish the DLC already. Don't come in here and tell me to stop, Saul. Like, I paid good money to watch this wombo combo. True. Yeah. Oh my lord. It's so good. I, uh, the DLC is just so good. It, oh, man. And it's got my favorite boss in entire Elven Ring. Like, ever, like the, my new favorite boss has changed now. It's not Melania. Everyone, Melania has been replaced. I don't make the rules. When you beat this boss, what are you stalling for? Well, we're going to talk about the lore. We're going to talk about my crackpot theories because I've got a lot. Literally, pot theories. All right? I have so much in my brain that has to come out, but I have to be the final boss and read the lore. And then we can really go hard on the being crazy and insane people. Are you guys ready? I'll show you guys how beautiful I am and how ready and prepared. So are you stalling to talk about the lore? Um, I guess I am stalling right now to talk about the lore, yeah. Oh, I mean, Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Why wouldn't I stall to talk about the lore even more, always? Are we there yet? No, not quite yet. We're we're loading up, right? Meow. Pot theories. Are we walking around with Alexander? Yes. Well, because the pots are actually very important. To learn. You shall learn. Like I have been learning. I have been learning without and also without spoiling myself about the last remembrance. So that's a good thing, right? Okay, guys. I'll show you how cute I am. Although, maybe I want to try to fight the final boss, um, maybe without the shield first, just to, like, I don't know, show you that I'm cool? Impotent. Lol. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny. That's a pun. I like that. The implications of the little pots? Little people. True. I know I don't like it either, but <laughs> speed. <laughs> don't worry, guys. Okay, look at me. Look at how hot I am. See, if I wear any helmet, then I'm just going to be hurting myself. So we're using the big, the big, massive door. And I tested it. And holy shit, it, this, the shield slaps. <laughs> it's not even, um, it's not even leveled up, by the way. I just put it on. Yo, fashioning off the charts, right? Check this out. Look how pretty. And look at the new hair that they added. The new long hair. Oh my god, my character's so hot. You are Mikola. No, I'm not. Actually, this character is connected to Godwin. My OC. Yo, wings and everything. Yeah, this actually helps your jumping attacks. And look how pretty it is. gonna lurk but good luck thank you dragoness good luck in your in your endeavors as well so anyway um should we try it without the shield first so i can show you guys like i will show you guys how cool i am i'll show you my chicken nugget leg this leg is crazy do it look at this holy shit i actually thought about putting crag blade on it <laughs> for extra bonk, because the the Ash of War it has is dog shit, but then I'd have to go get Cragblade, and I don't want to. We're actually <laughs> Renan struggling against our former selves in conflict with Mikola and in service to Mikola of the future. True! I'm always in conflict. I'm gonna turn, I'm um, trying to run DLC in RL90 and parry your way through. Do it! Parry! I've been, I, now that I'm technically free, I started watching, um, Ella is doing, I started watching someone who's doing RL1 without any of the Skadoosh tree fragment upgrades. And I was like, okay, Mr. Insane person, um, I will not be doing that <laughs> with my own build. Uh, okay, let me show you guys. Where is it? This one. Then this one. And then... What else did I put? I put this just because I get hit. No, I should put this. I should keep this. No one is saying the real skibbity fragments. I hate that. I hate that. But look at my chicken nugget leg. 
Chickadaggy Lake. The drumstick. Skibbity fragments. Jesus. Skadoosh fragments. Scatter tree. Hell no. Let check this out. Yeah. Oh, let me put a hat on because now I'm not hiding behind a shield. And I'll show you guys how cool I am, okay? I will. I will show you guys. Wait, where's my helmet? There it is. Um, do I have everything I wanted? Uh, Scaramouche fragments, like for Bohemia. Scaramouche fragments, like for Bohemia Rhapsody. Oh, Lord. True. Okay, let me show you how cool I am. The poison flower blooms twice. Hi, yeah! Uh oh. Don't look at that. <laughs> Will you do the fandango? Thunderbolt of lightning, very, very frightening. Galileo. Ah! I'm fine. <laughs> You shithead, you never do that twice. Wonk. 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 You shithead. No! No, stop it now. Oh, so now. You do it. You shithead. Blom blonk. Hold on, this is my warm up round, okay, chat? This is my warm up round. He's so beautiful, I want to marry him. Will you be my consort instead? Ow. Ow. Be my consort instead! Please! Uh. I would like him to be my consort. Did you see that bleed? You gave, you give Mikola to beat. Yeah, you could have Mikola. I don't give a shit about, about Mikola, it's fine. I want that. <laughs> Disgusting. Nicola's just a cutie. Check this out. You shithead! You're supposed to do the- What the fuck are you doing?! What the fuck are you doing?! <laughs> that was not what you were supposed to do, sir. Okay. Ah! Oh, I'm dead. See, that part is... Okay, chat. Disgusting. The bleed is disgusting. Oh, I was like, a big is a cutie, though. What do you mean? <laughs> it's got four arms. It's like Ronnie. Like, what did those other arms do? Um, yeah, the bleed is disgusting. It, it has literally 200 bleed build up right now. It's horrible. <laughs> But then, but listen, it's cracked. It's awesome. Anyway, okay, to give more love, true woo, true woo. Um, does anyone know? Maybe not. I don't know. That one move where he goes, anytime he goes up in the air and he's like in the air, he always does that same move and I cannot figure out how to dodge it. Because like sometimes if I just stand there and don't move, he doesn't hit me. But then other times when I stand there, he hits me every time. Very inconsistent. Anyway, yeah, it's fun. I like this fight. It's very enjoyable, but goddamn health pool. The health pool. Ow, why did I get hit? Dodge, 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 and dodge. Mm. No, you're not allowed to touch me. Blum, 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 
Monk. Hmm. Monk. Heal. Dodge. 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 See, professional at the first space, at least. <laughs> hmm, I missed? Okay, that made sense. It's nasty. See, this is what I wanted him to do. I missed. know how to dodge see it's so awkward because those teleportation tags sometimes if you just don't move maybe i should test it if you don't move he doesn't hit you if you're in i don't even know how it happens but yeah i've noticed that sometimes when i'm like blocking he he misses me while i'm just standing there like this he's like on the side and it's also happened with the chicken nugget is too it's very weird and inconsistent but still still I'm willing to keep doing this because I just really like this fight Ow. Ah! what the huh did I jump too early Don what was that What the fuck, dog? That was the first time in a long time I've died to that. <laughs> Awkward. Hold on a second. We'll just go in. I don't want to waste my shriple bits. <laughs> Two heavy attacks, chat, and you get a bleed. It is absolutely insane. You got this, thank you. I'm sure I do. I deserve that. Different move set. We're done. Oops. My only question is when can we choose to be 23 feet tall and get custom armor and swords? Hmm. A good question, Chef. That is a very good question. <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> but I would also like custom armor and swords, please. Aren't we the Elden Lord? Maybe after we become the Elden Lord, we grow. Is it a crit? 
crazy? This weapon is getting absolutely nerfed, bro. It's insane. <laughs> I messed up. You're supposed to, yeah, do that thing first, please. I can see a lot of people having issues in here in it, though. Yeah. Ugh. Oh no, no, no! I messed up. <laughs> Where are my privileges? I can see a lot of people having issues using it here, though. Yeah, it's kind of got a little bit of a janky like move set, and like it's very slow. Um, but the bleed on it is fucking crack. They're definitely gonna nerf this, and if they don't, I would be shocked. That's how intense it is. Um, the only problem with it is that in the second phase, though, I don't know when I can get, like, a heavy attack in. Uh-oh. that move. Stop it. Wow! <sighs> Ow, I'm sucking. Doing a bad job. Hold on, I have to re-download. Even with the cracked weapon, you're still have you're still having a time beating the boss though, so it doesn't really need nerfing. It's a feature. I guess that's true. That's true. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the what the what the How come I didn't spawn where I'm supposed to? Don, wait. <sighs> no, I'm so dead. It is the best. That was the best yet. <sighs> See, I believe. The only thing is, as I really just do not understand that move that just killed me. I, I really don't. I've been trying really hard to like figure it out, and I'm so confused. I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> it feels like a just pray. It's really fast, yeah. And like, I know with like the other ones of that kind of move. Um. Uh oh, oops. The other versions of that move. Oops, I did not dodge. Um. It's kind of like if you dodge like one of them, you'll dodge most of them, right? Like you. I don't know, there's just like a, if you're dodging, then like you dodge most of them. I don't know how to explain that properly. 
I just can't figure out like which way I need to be dodging. Uh, it's definitely a heat check for anyone who's speeding through the DLC that wants to make sure you come away satisfied. It, come here. And in the second phase, when he does that move, you 120% cannot get caught in that at all or else it's like death. It's just like asking to die. Why are you doing different moves, bro? a second no <laughs> i meant to dodge backwards and i did it <laughs> yeah you guys will laugh when you see how much easier it is if i put a shield on if i put my shield on you guys will be like ha 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 i mean tortellini already knows because he's the one who told me but shit's like crazy Why are you being so aggressive? him it's not gonna give it to me He's a truck, yeah. The truck move. He's not starting off with the beams of light. I I'm going in there prepared for beams of light. Well, I mean, the whole thing is beams of light. I mean, like, the floating, the floating move. I'm prepared for floating move. He's not doing the floating move. I'm breaking him. Yeah, that's right, Radad. Get shit on. Hiya! Oh. Awkward. I missed.
What's the move? Oh no! Heal! Heal! I'm not dodging. so good though the second phase music hits so hard like i want to stay there forever but i keep dying <laughs> it's fine we'll do this until like 7 30 and then we're we'll what time is it right now we could probably do this till like 7 30 and then i'm just gonna cheese him i mean yeah Weapon is cracked. Uh, oh, what? Oh. His phasing attacks. They're get they're getting to me. They're so hard to deal with, and he keeps not doing rays of light. He have to be a rays of. I'm breaking him because I'm beating his butt in the first phase too fast. Now he's broken. What the heck is this? Oh, that was a ring I can't do a heavy attack there. Why do I keep doing that? Give me a second to heal. Thank you. Where to dodge? Where where to dodge? Ba, 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 ba. Right? That's the move. I'm making ba noises because that's the move. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Ba, da, 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 da. I don't know. I don't know. That move is driving me nuts because I haven't been able to freaking figure it out. It's driving me crazy. Maybe I need to dodge forward. Head.
I missed. Ow, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to block. <laughs> no! Ugh, look at that power couple. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I really wish I could figure out... Yeah, I just want to figure out some of those moves, but they're so hard because, like, if I mess it up... Then, like, I die. There's, like, so many, like, waterfowl-type moves. Like, if you get caught in this... You are dead. Was that? <gasps> what? How did I get hit by that? I messed that up. Oh no! We're done! Please! See, this is what I wanted. See, and then there, I don't even... Uh, I'm dead. Uh. Okay, so don't... Oh, man. The, the, it's so brutal. Brutal, chat. I love it. See, but did you see that time? I just like stood and then the beam didn't even hit me. <laughs> I don't understand. Miyazaki was like, have patience and just stand where you are and you will be safe. How much longer will I be streaming? I stream until 10 Mountain Standard. So midnight Eastern time. How are you doing, by the way? Good to see you. Okay. I missed. I 
are we doing? Perfect, just wondering. Happy to answer. Yeah, we're back on the regular normal schedule now that... <laughs> uh, yeah. See? I don't understand you. See? Just stand. Yeah, I got hit. Uh, ah! Okay. Heal. Oh, I survived! That's huge. Heal. Uh, the fucking bat move is so scary. No. Never get caught in that one. That is auto death. I survived. <laughs> I survived. <laughs> I survived because I crouched. <gasps> I survived that because I crouched and he went over my head. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. That was wild. I only survived that because I literally panic crouched. That was wild. Twitch is a little late in telling me I unlocked the Elden Ring badge. It's a little slow. Same. <laughs> it, it let you, it's letting you know. You guys, that was, that was nutty. I, hmm, interesting. <laughs> Oh. Yep, I deserve that. Hold on, let me hold on. <gasps> Rekka! Ah! <laughs> How are you doing? Thank you for your subby, that's so kind. <laughs> I'm messing up. <laughs> We're so happy to have you! Oh no, I missed. <laughs> Sorry I distracted you. I'm easily distracted and I also... We're just chilling. I can do the cheese strap pretty easily, so we're trying out this weapon where I have to actively dodge. And, um, it's fun. It's super scary, though. It's got 200 bleed on it. That's basically insane. Stand right where you are. Don't get hit. Did I just do that? Use the same weapon to kill him? Yeah, it's broken. 
I didn't even know. Uh, Talking is actually the one who sent it to me, and I was like, hmm? I didn't know about this weapon. Apparently, I just didn't kill the mob that dropped it. Because there was a lot of them, and I got scared. <sighs> Classic. Gotta kill everything, chat. Yeah, this weapon is wild. I like it. And it also allows me to do the big bonking again. Mm. Ow. I messed up. Hold on. Ow. Okay, maybe I should just let you kill me. The music is so good, man. I can knock it over it. <laughs> Scary. Every time it does the bleed proc, I'm like, oh. Right here, I'm safe. Give me a, a chance. <laughs> he didn't give me a chance. It's fine. <laughs> oh, you can see into his leg. What time is it? Okay, we'll give it a couple more shots. <sighs> and then I'm just gonna cheese him because I want to see the end. I want to. I just want to win. And um, I'm pretty certain I can cheese him pretty easy because I tested it once. And I saw something, chat, that you guys haven't seen yet. Because I got his health down really low. Didn't beat him, obviously. So excited for ending. Me too. I cannot get over how much I love the bead. Walk in front, right here I'm safe. Yikes. Nutty. <laughs> okay, we'll do last try and then I'm gonna switch to shield and cookies and then we're just gonna, we'll, we'll, we'll probably be able to finish it. There is one move that y'all haven't seen unless you've beaten him that I, 
I saw and I was like, oh. <laughs> that you guys will get to see. <laughs> I'm excited because it's, it's pretty neat. This fight is crazy good. Oh, wait. That one doesn't count. You've seen it a million times. Ah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just stood there. I was like, huh? <laughs> I was, it was, yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. So I'm excited for you guys to see it. And then, you know, I'm probably going to have to figure out how to deal with it. Hold on, this time, this time. Um, But, you know. Citrus Axe witches, he can make as much of a mess. True. True! Or these why isn't he like completing any of the combos there we go I missed. Ha! <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, let's switch. We'll switch to cheese, because I just want to, I really want to win like super duper bad. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna win. Um, I gotta find it though. I always lose my rapier in this mess. Here it is. And this shield, by the way, this thing fucking slaps. It's kind of crazy. Let's fucking go. I think the fingerprint show is slightly better because you can add buffs to it. Yeah, but I didn't want to go do that. So this one's, this one all worked, has been working pretty well. Um, when I was testing it earlier, <laughs> I was like, whoa, the difference between this and the crucible shield. Oh no, I'm heavy rolling. Hold on, Verdon.
Oh shoot, I forgot to grab my other... Hmm. I meant to grab another... Yeah, whatever, it's probably fine. Wait, since we... When can we, any enemy, take Poison Scarlet Rot together? Uh, I thought one cancels out the other? I think they, I think you've always been able to do them both, but I, I don't know. Nice try, buddy. don't know though because I literally never um uh oh see I didn't move and he didn't hit me I don't understand Chad, I'm scared. I don't, cause I don't know what to do here. This is it. Where is, where, where is he? Ah! I made it. Uh oh, he got me. Run, I, I did it. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to touch me, sir. Die. cheese chat if you're like oh no i don't know what to do there you go <laughs> remembrance of a god and a lord <gasps> thank you uh, aries for gifting that sub to rebelicious that's very very sweet of you i appreciate that very much i did it chat and then watch this you see how i have this little thing above my head check this shit out No one gets to tell me what to do. Should we look around? I want to look around. This is crazy. We did it! Whoa! 
Dude, I'm freaking out. Holy shit. Look how beautiful this is, by the way. It's glorious. Hold on, I'll read the lore here in a minute. Is this it? Is there anything else for me to do? What do I do? I'm panicking. What now? I wanted to go up the stairs. I can't go up the stairs. <laughs> I gotta go up the side, question mark. Can I go up the side? I wanna... I have 500,000 runes on my person. That's it. Let me look for the glowy thing near the center. Oh, thank you. I was like, I know there's something, but what? Oh, is it that? I see it. Look at this. You missed it. <gasps> oh, there's the grass. It's this. Touch memory. <gasps> Whoa. Hold on. Let me touch grass. Oh, so there's like memories? There's like a memory? Did it just move? Oh yeah, chat. Hold on, let me level up before I miss out on my runes. <laughs> Time to do what Ella's doing after lore, of course. I would rather die than not use scattered tree fragments. Holy shit. <gasps> Touch memory. Hold on. I have my, my, I'm ready for tears. Okay, so yeah, that was in the trailer too. Spoiler alert. I mean, but it doesn't matter because I knew. <laughs> I'll make the world a gentler place. Huh. Circlet of light. Aw, sweet Mikola. Mikola, who literally pushed Saint Trina off of a cliff. What is this? A circlet of light which adorned Mikola's head as he returned in divine aspect. It has begun to fade into nothingness. Slightly boosts intelligence, faith, and arcane while also boosting the power of Mikola's light. The circle was to be the very foundation upon which Mikola's age of compassion will be built, should it have ever come to pass. But then I was like, no, bitch. I'm compassion. A gentler place, not if the tarnish has anything to say about it, true. More like a circlet of shite. Listen, um, St. Trina wanted me to do it, and, um, I can't help myself. Let me- I want up here. How do I get up here, chat? Let me in! I want up! Really? No, uppies allowed, sorry. Please! I want- I want to see the view! Bro, in the trailer, the, these bodies were all fresh. Now they're all... Whatever the fuck this is. Also, what are the divots from? Are they from two fingers? What is? What are these divots from? Are they just the way the bodies... Like, is there a pattern? Yeah. <sighs> I want up. Let me up. Damn it. Okay, chat. Well... We gotta go back to St. Trina. You did what St. Trina asked of you. I did. I killed the shit out. I killed Mikla. I killed the shit out of Mikla. Look how pretty I am. Wow. We won. Don't worry. Yeah! Shut up. Shut up, Anya. Give me remembrance. <clears throat> remembrance of Radon, consort of Mikla hewn into the scatter tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. I literally don't care. In their childhood, Mikola saw in Radon a lord. 
his strength, and his kindness that stood in stark contrast with their afflicted selves. And so, Mikola made his heartfelt wish that Radon would one day be his king consort. Their afflicted selves? What does that mean? His strength and kindness that stood in contrast with their afflicted selves? Like Rikard and the Great Serpent. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Promise consort. We get his freaking swords. <laughs> but they're imbued with gold instead of gravity. Okay. Great swords of black steel wielded by Radon in his youth. A pair of weapons decorated with a lion mane motif. These were in his possession immediately before his triumph over the stars. The swords of a lord who does not rely on physical strength and gravity alone. Unique skill, promise consort, imbue the two great swords with the light of Mikola, then deliver a slashing attack accompanied by columns of light. Additional input allows for two follow-up attacks. So you can only get one at a time? Oh, and it has two unique skills. There's Lord and Light. Oh. Mikola was cursed with eternal youth and millennia with rot. But, but it said that that's with their afflicted selves. Oh, selves. Selves. Huh? Oh, I see. Got it, got it. So it's Moog's body or Radon's soul, or am I totally off? It's Radon. So they just use Radon's body. They just use Radon's body. Or, I mean, sorry, I'm so sorry. They use Moog's body to resurrect Radon because Radon's body was all fucked up by the rock, probably, right? There's also armor. I figured there was. I'm gonna buy it. Don't worry. Um, let's see. Not physical. Light speed slash. Assume a luminous form and leap forward to deliver a downward slash at a speed of light. This attack can be followed up by additional light attack. Charge to increase power of skill and follow up attack. Okay. Light of Mikola. The strength of Mikola upon his deific return, wielded as an incantation, annihilates foes of the pillar of light. Mikola sought to accept all that was and would be, but found one that refused to be embraced. No wonder, as one god and one king consort, is all is all the world needs. Oh yikes! <laughs> They're talking about us and America, by the way. <laughs> no wonder, as one god and one king consort, is all the world needs. Only one refused to be embraced. And that was me, bitch. Don't embrace me. Read the new armor? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Don't worry. Ah, it's so much cooler than this one. This one's so much cooler. All right. A golden helm worn by Radon in his younger years, proudly displaying his heroic red hair. It is fi fitting attire for a lion. When Melania, Blade of Mikola, that the rot flower blossom in <gasps> when when the rot flower blossom in Eonia, Radon heard a murmur in his ear. Mikola awaits thee, O promised consul. Let's fucking fuck! Let's fucking fuck! Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> That's the whisper! Mikola awaits thee, O promised consort. So it was all on purpose? The whole thing? Oh my god, I'm gonna freak. Okay, where- give me more. Where's the next one? Okay, it's the same thing. Oh my lord in heaven. Is there anything else? His hands. Okay, it's all the same. I missed that part in the details. It's even more confusing then. Yeah! When Melania Blade of Mikola let the rot flower blossom in Aeonia, Radon heard a murmur in his ear. A Mikola awaits thee, O promised consort. You know what it makes me wonder? It makes me wonder if he wasn't going to do it. And Melania and Mikola hatched a plan to basically try to guarantee it. Question mark? <laughs> Let's fucking fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I need runes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. Is that all? Is there anything else, chat? Did I miss anything else? Is there something that I missed? I don't know if that'll be enough to buy them both, but we'll try. 
I want his set. I want to put it on my body. Young Lions Greaves. Verdon was a Golden Order simp. Yeah, I, it makes me wonder, like, if in the beginning, like, they were very close and he was like, yeah, sure. Like, I'll be your consort. Like, he believed in what Mikola wanted. But then over time, he was like, no, I don't want that. And so Mikola and Melania were like, well, I'm not as beautiful in it as he is, but they were like, well, we're going to force you then. It's possible he wasn't willing to honor his promise. Yeah. So they forced it on him. And then they also use Moog as a cat as like a catalyst for that as well. Oh my God, is that it? I want more. Please, Miyazaki. Oh, they're here. Are they both here hanging out? I didn't summon them so they wouldn't have died. Add quote, let's fucking fuck. <laughs> I think it's quote add, quote add. Oh, hold on, I wanna be in my cool outfit. When I, when I talk to these guys. <laughs> My cool outfit. The outfit, that's cool. Oh shoot, what pants was I wearing? I forgot what pants. Oh, these ones. There we go. <laughs> I'll pay in advance another $40 so we can guarantee another DLC. I'll do whatever I can do. I'll pay that. that I did that backwards, yeah. Plus I'll that mug was also charmed by Mikla as well. That Orochi is like has been like a theory that people have had for a long time. And I really honestly feel, oh no, Yolier. Yolier's hidden needle. Mask is closed. Nice. Okay, where is the other guy? On Spock. Well, I guess they kind of just acted like they died for reals. Unless he's somewhere else. Oh, there he is. I missed him. On the wall. Wise man's mask and his attire and his oh, blade of Hansbach. Oh my God, more lore. <gasps> so they just considered them all dead then. Yeah, they died in the fight, I guess. I want to go stand up there. Kay, don't touch my mouse. I want to go. <laughs> Sickest looking scythe I've ever done seen. Okay, let's read this shit. What is this? Causes eternal sleep buildup. Concealed weapon used by Theolier, a, of a design generally favored by poison wielders for dark and subtle purposes. Like St. Trina, who blossom in the deep purple garden, a rich poison is secreted from within, which sends its victims into eternal sleep. Unique skill, sleep evermore, pierces the enemy deeply with a poison-coated needle that delivers eternal sleep. If a follow-up strike lands upon a foe who is already in a state of slumber, it will deal significant damage. That's sick. It's intelligence-based. Ooh, and it's not just sleep, it's eternal sleep. Oh, get that big stuff. <laughs> a mask upon which is carved a tranquil sleeping face. The silver hair is arranged in the same style as St. Trina's increasing arcane. Just once, the earlier was granted the sweet repose of velvety sleep. The remainder of his days would be spent attempting to recapture it. Uh, additionally, countless needles are sewn into the exterior, apparently for talismanic effect. Pretty. This armor set's really pretty. I want to put it on. The dark gloves of those who wield poison in secret, ever scorned and loathed. The dark trousers as well. Okay, this iron mask of Sir Onspot, giving the appearance of a quiet, wise, old bearded man. Giving the appearance of... Oh my god, you guys, we have to watch Zuli the Witch unmasking everybody. But an old fear lurks beneath, together with the cold, unflinching discipline that once honed his blade, now employed to enhance blood oath and dynastic skills. Hell yeah, I love that for him. Entire of Sir Ansbach. The embroidered crest of the pure blood knight has now all but faded away. Slightly enhances blood oath and dynastic skills. Ansbach understood that keeping his oath to his old master was not an act of logic, nor would it bear any justice, but it was for these very reasons he was unable to let go. Ansbach understood... Sorry, I'm going to reread that. Ansbach understood that keeping his oath to his old master was not an act of logic, nor would it bear any justice. But it was for these very reasons he was unable to let go. 
Huh? Why does that feel like it has a deeper meaning? Well, I'm looking too hard into it. Black leather adorned with gold embroidery. Black leather with gold embroidery. Okay. Signature weapon of the pure blood knight on Spock. Oh, it's sexy, chat. Mmm. A viciously keen and slender scythe made for combat. The obsidian edge relies not upon trickery to fulfill its violent purpose. Through skill alone, the wielder can rip and rend through foes, sowing blossoms of red upon the battlefield. Dynastic sickle play. Mmm, sickle play. That sounds fun. <laughs> a finesse evasive skill that creates space to maneuver inputs dictate directions of the back step follow up with strong attacks to perform an advancing upward slash press strong attack to bring the weapon back and then the ash of war fury's blades of ansbach incantation of ansbach produces a blood flame blade from the side of the hand and lunges at enemies to cleave through them charge to increase the number slashes Markedly different from the finesse swordplay of the Dynast, this is an aggressive last resort of an incantation that gave race to Onsbach's fearsome reputation. Mm. Yes. Chat! <laughs> now what? Here, let's go to St. Trina. As far as I know, she's the only one left alive. Baby. Baby, she's not even alive anymore. Trina! Trina, help! I want more! <laughs> Ib! Uh. Uh. No! She's fucking dead! Remember when I asked to not have 80% of the NPCs die on us? Well, I got my wish. 100% of them died. They all fucking died. Trina. St. Trina's blossom. She wilted and perished. The Tarnish just likes to commit genocide. It's not me. It's not me. <laughs> She's part of Mikola. Without him, there's no her. True. True. Let me read this. What is this? Was oh, it a hairpiece? <gasps> St. Trina's life withered and fell as fleeting as the seasons. At her last, she left a single water lily. Slightly boosts max FP. Despite the velvety purple hue, the flower is in no way poisonous. It merely blooms in quietude. No! <gasps> Chat. Trina. Everyone's fucking. Are we the bad guys? This isn't the case for America Radagon. They can exist separately. I suppose Mikola and Trina don't have the same relationship. Yeah, agreed. Wait, hold up. There's one more NPC. Horn scent. I don't know. Everyone seems awful. <laughs> Are we? Everyone is terrible. Grandma! Hold on, I'm not wearing my... Screw you. You guys suck too. Mikola wanted a general pla gentler place, you monster! True. The biggest asshole so far in Elden Ring is the cannon tarnished. Yeah. Resentment fettered thee. With such bounteous fury didst thou. I cannot presume thou didst not suffer. Please, I ask thee, allow thyself some rest. None of the tower would dare interfere. And if one should, I'll see to them myself. She's afraid of me. <laughs> right? Apologies, but. Wouldst thou pr mine eyes are oft apt even telling dream I think she's about to die. <laughs> Just under Celibus, of course. Ew, fuck Celibus. All my homies hate Celibus. And also Gideon. Gideon's also a piece of shit.
Even the horn scent are kind of shitty, too. Did you find the Mikola memory? I did. I did find the Mikola memory. Oh, she's sleeping. Okay, sorry, she was sleeping. I... I sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's an accident. Chat, everyone except for grandma died. There's no one else. <laughs> Everyone's f Why does everyone I love die? <sighs> Chat. I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> you killed them? I killed them, yeah, I killed them. I killed them all. Oh, I didn't kill- I didn't kill Theolia and Onsbach. Did you do Egan's quest? Yes, I did. You bet I did. He also fucking died, too. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. I'm a murderer. This is all my fault. Everything. I'm just like Merica. We were made for each other. I'm a vile monster. Where is my melon of lore? <laughs> Chat. I have a lot of crackpot theories. Have you cashed in with the bail heart then? I haven't cashed in, but I have read the stuff. How would it have changed if you sided with Freya and Letta? Well, I'm not sure. I don't think you can side with them. Can you? I'm under the impression that they're, they're not going to allow us to. I wonder if they'll ever make a two to continue more story from this one. I'm sure they will. The way that Miyasaki works is basically by, um, like, the most easy ending to get. Is the canonical one until the series is over. Sure you could do it over. <laughs> Did you find the NPC or related to Ingen's quest? Do you mean the priestess? Who are you talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, the one who worked for Placidus Axe. Placidus Axe. Placidus Ass. Guys, where is the Melina War? Where is it? I need it right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go insane. All I wanted, listen, we got Godwin. I was happy about that. We got Merica. I think I understand her. I have some crackpot theories about that. But not a single speck of melon lore. Just death. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fucking scream. I'm gonna scream. Someone give me Melanolore. Not a single god skin. Nothing about the Glomide Queen. But I think the Glomide Queen was in the land of the Earth Tree. Matt thought the Mesmer's eye was Merica's source seal. That is entirely possible. Because as though there's something about the Glomide Queen. So I have theories, chat. Are you ready for some crack pot theories? <laughs> Hold on, I did want to read. Um, I don't think I read the description on something. I wanted to read it. So there's a lot <laughs> going on here. <laughs> and poor Merica. Here I was thinking that Merica had done something super horribly awful. And don't get me wrong, she totally did. But it wasn't because of her at the beginning, right? America's entire people were fucking slaughtered by the horn scent for their purposes. And America eventually, so, okay. Hold on, chat. Let me read this really quick before I... Because there's a lot to unpack <laughs> in this, this game. 
<laughs> there is a lot to unpack here. Uh, where is it? I'm looking for paw innards. Where is the meat? Where is it? Meat, 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 meat. So America came from a sh clan of h human people, like us Tarnish, called, that were shamans. And if you know, shamans are people who are able to communicate with spirits, right? That's like what shamans are. They're, and I think in this world, shamans could communicate with the gods. And the horn saint couldn't really do that. So they relied on America's people to do that. And then they had this horrible idea. <sighs> yeah. But let me, I just wanted to read. Where are the innards? Am I fucking blind? I picked up some. Horn shroon, ember, beast horn. Fuck, where are you? Shelby, I don't, okay, you got poop, butterflies. Sliver of meat. Oh, here it is. I'm fucking blind. Beast blood, lump of flesh. Nope. Where is it? Do I not have any? I should. Because I've picked them up. I hate this. I can't read. I just wanted to check and see what it said. Uh... Before I went, because I'm about, y'all don't even know. You guys don't even know how, like, cracked I'm about to get. The Pugers is a little debate of the ape here lives within the Snow Coffins. Okay. Where the fuck is it? They throw their shit at me all the time, and I've picked it up before. Where is it? Is it not, like, a thing to make things with? I feel like I'm losing my mind right now. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. I thought there were pot innards or something. Did I not get them? <gasps> oh! Watch Holly, hello! Oh my god, you are enough! Oh, what a sweet rain message! Welcome in, everybody! Holy crap! Welcome in, welcome in, everyone. I am Shasta Cat. We just completed the DLC. <gasps> Look at that combo. Y'all are wonderful. We just completed the DLC. I'm about to go off on some crackpot theories. <laughs> How are you doing? What were you playing? Welcome in. Holy raid a -roni. A Wind Waker raid sound? Absolutely. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome, raiders. I love the raid alert. Holy shit, Wind Waker's your favorite game. Let's go. I love Wind Waker. It's so good. Win DLC complete, yes. And if you think, you know, it's all good. And Kazo Goblin, howdy, howdy. Have a good to decompress all. Yeah, if you need a raid and run, I totally understand. Also, follows are anonymous, so if you'd like to just follow and lurk, you're more than welcome to. Thank you for the follows. Y'all are so sweet. Were you guys also? You're here for a sec. Let's go. Uh, were y'all also? Y'all? Gonna lurk to avoid spoilers? Super fair, Rebel. I totally understand. Are you the reason why Holly is here? You were... Oh, you were just chit-chatting. Rebel recommended you? What? Uh, Rebel was out here. They were like, how long are you going to be around for? Love the follow sound. Thank you. I'm a massive, massive Zelda nerd. <laughs> Walker's so sus. I'm a massive builder. Actually, I don't know if you can see in the background, but back there, there's Ganon and Link right there. I have that. And also my my claw. And that's a cross stitch of Majora's Mask and my sword and my shield. Yeah, I'm pretty much a huge... <laughs> Rebel was plotting. Who knows? Yeah. My, my background is filled with Zelda. I grew up playing Zelda. I'm obsessed with Zelda. And now I'm obsessed with FromSong. Master Sword and Hylian Shield. That's right. Uh, how do you say your name? Wirodre? Nerd. I'm a huge nerd chef. That's true. I'm a massive nerd. Thank you so much for a follow. Ding. Ding. 
Ding, ding, ding. I also have a figure of him too. Can I ask your thoughts on the high class restaurant that is Olive Garden? Mm, they don't put enough Parmesan on my food. Thank you for the follow. But yeah, if you're new here, there's a lot of new friends. Welcome new friends. I am super obsessed with FromSoft. I love anything with good lore and I love pain. That's why I love Souls games. So that's what we do. It's fake Italian. That's what I people say. It's got busted breast. Listen, the food is it's so good though. So bad for you, but it's so delicious. I can't believe how close you got to my name on the first try. Oh, really? Did I get good? Did I get good? Did I get close? <laughs> I can fuck up chicken gnocchi soup. Oh my God. My spouse and I, Elden Ring. Elden Ring, that's right. My spouse and I went through like a phase where we um, <laughs> were like making it a whole bunch at home because it's just so good. Yeah, so it's ridiculous. You got to eat it whenever you go there. It's just amazing. It's delicious. It's bad for you. It's delicious pasta. Olive Garden. I don't go there all the time, but like, it's pretty good. Hi, Silas, you are enough. No, you, I should have a Uno reverse card so I can just use it on your cute face. This. But yeah, we just beat the DLC. I had to choose the final boss, but it was super worth <laughs> it. it Cause it was, it was very fun. DLC is perfect, honest, it was great. And I'm glad that y'all are here. I've only been once. The soup was definitely the best thing. Yeah, it's so good. So good. If you ever go back, you know, everything is delicious. I haven't eaten anything there that I was like, ew, because it's pasta. I've never been, but it's prestige, no snow bounds. True, Stag, true. I'm going to fly to America one day just for the Golden Garden. They're going to go. You got to come here for all of the... All of the all of the wild American food. We have fantastic food here. <laughs> very good for you. Very nutritious. Very delicious. Most importantly. I'll never be enough, but they Tortellini, I'm going to smack you. Just kidding. I could never smack you. I'll just give you a head pat. I could never hurt you. <laughs> I like your name. Isn't it the best? Tortellini is so cool. Tortellini is the reason why I won. I'm gonna give him credit. I'm gonna give him credit. Or else we would still be here fighting the final boss. <laughs> no, I didn't smack you. I give you a head pat. You like head pats, right? Everyone likes head pats. Listen, chat, I'm concerned, though. I was trying to find, isn't there pot innards that you pick up from the enemies or am I blind? I just, maybe it's just lump of flesh. It's gonna bug the crap out of me now. Also, can, okay. You know what else is bugging me? That there was like no mention of? Torrent, torrent. Where, what the heck is up with that? Where's the lore? Where's my melon lore? I made it so I could make folks hungry by seeing my name. I mean, it works. It does make me want tortellini. Constantly. Constantly. Yeah. The lack of Godskin trio is unacceptable. No Godskin trio? What the hell? Actually, there was really not a lot of bosses with ads. Funny enough. There were not a lot of bosses with ads. Also, chat, fun fact. Once you finish this quest line, make sure you go check the... I, 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 I realized... Um... Thank you for the follow. I realized after you finish this quest, make sure you finish the quest. You have to come out here and you can get a spell out here in out here. So make sure you get it. 
once the quest is finished. Because you will miss out, and it's pretty cool. I can't use it because I don't use spells, but... Yeah. Ignore me. I was figuring out why my shadow didn't work earlier, but you gotta know. Ah, no problem. You can shout up multiple times. Go, go follow Holly. Holly seems like a sweet bean. Her community also super sweet and lovely beans. Thanks for being here. The meter was the most ad infested fight. Yeah, I think it was too. And even then it wasn't really bad because I was able to kill them like immediately. Let's review bomb. No God skin trio equals zero. I can't believe there was no God skin trio. This game is shit. <laughs> I didn't intend to do that with my name, but people often say it makes them hungry. Also, queso goblin. That's also true. Queso is delicious. Y'all with your food names. How dare you? <gasps> nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you too, Holly. What? Y'all, chat, friends, new friends. What What do we do in Holly's channel? What kind of games do we play? Do you bunch of sweet beans? I'm curious now. I'm trying to process stuff that just happened in beating the DLC. I don't know what to do with myself now. I want more. Chat, what have I missed? Have I missed anything? I can't get to the islands. It's gonna make me feel insane. Hmm. Too many people think queso is some kind of Mexican cheese instead of just cheese in Spanish. <laughs> True. I play Souls Likes, but Wednesdays we do Wisdom Wednesdays where we give advice to chat. <gasps> That's so wholesome. Okay, what's your favorite Souls Like? What's your favorite? Holly is a scary game from Soft Streamer. <gasps> I love scary games too. Oh my lord. Hold up. Hold on. I love scary games. I am bad at playing them myself. <laughs> but goddamn. If I don't love watching other people suffer. <laughs> Sorry, I need to head back to work, but it was nice hearing your kind words towards the garden. Of course, Glass. I've got you anytime. Come, come to America someday and, and have a good time at work. I hope it's not super painful. <laughs> the best no items challenge runner. Ooh, oh, also challenge runner. Hell yeah. I try to do challenges sometimes. I mostly play Elden Ring. I'm basically an Elden Ring streamer at this point. <laughs> For right now. <sighs> so Bloodborne enjoyer. True. Lies appear right now. Eek, but I just finished it. So I don't know because it's so recent. Lies of P, oh my god, it was amazing. It's so good. I cannot wait for the next one. I, oh man, tell me your favorite boss and why, and why is it the, the lady? <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> Not just because she's hot, okay? She has a Dark Souls 3 tat. <gasps> no way. Oh my god. Like sassy, yeah, like sexia. That's right. Oh my god, she's great. I mean, she wasn't like my favorite boss to fight, but visually stunning. You know, my favorite boss was the final. Mm, they're making another. Yeah. Oh yeah. The end of the game, like totally, just like gives you like, hey, by the way, we're gonna make another game. We're gonna make another game. Liza P expansion. Yeah. They're definitely going to do more. Only because she's hot. Yes. You have a nameless king tat? <gasps> Tortle lady! You know what I want? I want Elden Ring tattoos. I want so many tattoos, but I'm so bad. You guys, in Utah, Uter, there's not a lot of super good tattoo artists. Um, and I'm pink. So I am stalling on getting tattoos. <laughs> Dorothy, right? Yeah. The end, the little boot, the little heel click. Oh my God. When I watched that, I was like, oh, no, they're not. <laughs> they're going to do it. They're, the world is so interesting, intriguing, and fun and interesting. I, I'm i not usually a steampunk person, but 
For Liza P and Bloodborne, which I haven't played Bloodborne, but for those two, I will definitely make an exception because they're absolutely incredible. I make exceptions for steampunk stuff because they're cool, even though fantasy is my vibe. Yeah, we got our Discord where the feral ones go, where we hang out and like are cool and stuff. Yeah, that's great. The lore was awesome and the game was hard too. I did kind of find the balance a little awkward. Like strength base was pretty weak at the end. I had to switch to Dex, but it doesn't matter because it was fab. It wasn't Lords of the Fallen. <laughs> we don't talk about Lords of the Fallen here. <laughs> Oh, I just looked in DLC by end of the year. Yeah, I wasn't sure if what kind of DLC it's going to be. Because they ended Lies of P in like this way that like. Hmm. I don't know. It, it, the, the ending was weird because it seemed like it was like, oh, it's over. It's done. But then if you continue, it talks like. I don't know. The way it ends is interesting. It's so good, though. It's so amazing. And it made me cry. Definitely made me cry. Like, a lot of games make me cry. We cry here. I'm a crier. I don't stop doing cries. I almost cried just because we beat the DLC. And there was nothing even that sad. We just won. <laughs> we won, and I was like, no. How could we? How could we win? How dare we? Chat, there's no more. There's no more. What do we do? I didn't really explore this area super well. I just wanted Melina lore, chat. That's all I wanted. I don't think we ever made it down here. We should try. We denied an age of compassion. That's something to cry about. Listen, but is it an age of compassion? I wanted to be the one to be married, okay? And I, I, I wanted to marry. Also, see, Merica was guiding us. I was just following my wife. There's no crying in Elden Ring. You know, I have definitely almost cried playing this game. Almost. Oh my god, we could go kill Melania now. Because there was no dialogue. Can I post a link? Hell yeah, you're a sub. I don't think Mikola was as compassionate as he thinks he was. No, I don't think so either. Like, not to say I agree with Ansbach, but I think he's kind of a monster. Like, he... I mean, listen, I don't think that our friend... <gasps> oh, is this your tattoo? Give me tattoo! <gasps> oh my god. Ooh. That's the tattoo? <gasps> chat, can I show? I'm gonna show chat. That's so sick. I love it. It's beautiful. Nameless King is lit. You know, I thought I was going to have a really hard time when I fought him. And I kind of did. But I beat him way faster than I was expecting. I think it's because I played too much Elder. I want to fight. I would like to fight him again. I would like to maybe one day go back to Dark Souls 3 and do like a Soul 1. But we still have Elden Ringing to do. Excuse me. It's beautiful, Tortellini. Thank you for sharing. I want to see what's over here. So we're going to do that. We're going to kind of keep exploring while I talk because I'm about to crack pot theory. Listen, this story is, is like Swiss cheese. It is like filled with holes, but it's delicious. That can be your next game. <laughs> we're going to melt something here. Okay, chat, literally, we're going to be melding stuff. There's a lot of melting pots in this game. So if you're like, oh, no, I don't want spoilers and you're afraid of spoilers. Totally understand. But just FYI, this is a spoiling zone. So. <laughs> be prepared for your little earbuds. Just in case. 
So, listen. Let me start off by saying this. <laughs> the Crucible, right? Gets mentioned quite often as being a melting pot of things, right? So we know by now that the what is originally called the Omen... How do we get over there? What is originally called the Omen is actually here in the Shadowlands called the Horn Scent. But the whole point of the Horn Scent in the Crucible and whatnot is that it's like a blending together of Okay. America's people were sages. I mean sages, excuse me, shaman. America's people were shaman. Shaman are people that can speak with spirits or gods or whatever, right? They're like religious figures who can communicate with higher powers. That is kind of what they are. But like in a tri more tribal sense, I guess. So, I, this is what I think, chat. This is cracked. Don't just, just hear me out. <clears throat> There are a lot of gods in this world. A lot of them. Which means there's a lot of different wills and desires, right? So the Horn Scent was trying to communicate with the gods. And they were trying to communicate with a whole bunch of them. They wanted a whole bunch of wills. They wanted to, like, mix and blend everything together. Including the will of the gods. So what did they do? <laughs> they took their shamans... And they started trying to blend them together so that they could get the will of, like, as many gods as possible. And I know that sounds insane and crazy and nutty and whatever, but hear me out. Merica, every single child that Merica or Radagon Merica had is connected to a different god or a different type of power, right? They are cursed. And I use curse in air quotes because I don't think it's considered a curse, right? So, earlier today, I was reading this timeline about Mesmer's alive, right? So, it's a whole thing. You gotta head to bed. Good night, everyone. Good night, Aries. Good night. Thanks for being here for the big win. So, I think this is the thing. I think what happened is the horn scent took America's people and started experimenting, trying to, like, fuse a bunch of them together so that they could better hear, hear the will of all the gods. And they were only successful with America. She was the last one left. However, this caused a problem. America could only hear... This causes, this is the problem. America was a, a greater will vassal, right? Because there's like a pyramid of like pantheon. There's like the greater will and the other gods like up here. And then there's the gods vassals. So like people like America, Moog, the Lord of Frenzy Flame, etc. And then the demigods who can raise up as vessels, right? Like, I don't know. There's like this pyramid thing happening with the pantheon. But this is what I'm getting at. None of America's children were actually cursed. Because a curse implies that it, it occurred to them, like, after they were born. Like, it was given to them after they were born. But they were all born with these gifts and abilities, right? From different gods. And I think it's because when they mesh America to try to make her a vassal for, like, all the gods, every time she had a child... It was, like, part of one of the gods, like, left her and then, like, I don't even know how to explain it, you guys. I'm so bad at it. In my brain, it makes sense. In my brain, it makes sense that, like, she, something was wrong with her because they tried to make her a vassal of all the gods. So every time she had a child, she just had a child that was a vassal of a different god every single time because, because that's just what happened. So they weren't cursed. But she thought they were cursed because she only believes and trusts in the greater will. So she decided to basically 
leave, build her own kingdom via the greater will, and get revenge and try to break the curse on the gods that cursed her children, aka Mesmer and possibly Melon. So she killed these gods, but the curse didn't go away. Because the curse can't go away. Right? It's not a curse. It's just who they are. I know no one is following along with me, but I'm doing my best. But there was no way to actually cure them. So basically what happened with Mesmer is that they left the land... She took her kids to leave and they left and they killed the fell god and possibly the glomide queen but the curses didn't lift right so she was like mad about it and eventually because she was mad she blamed the horn scent because of what they did to her people and what they made her she sicked Mesmer on them, but the war was so disgusting and brutal, they ended up writing it out of history because it was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> you understand completely? Sure you do. Sure, I believe it. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but like that sounds like something Miyazaki would do. <laughs> Gotta head out. It was nice meeting you. See you around. Thanks, Holly, and thanks so much again for the raid and bringing your wonderful community over here to this little tiny neck of the woods. That was very kind of rebel. To, to, to poke you into coming over here and hanging out with us. <laughs> nice shield. I'm changing my life here. Have a beautiful night. But yeah, it was, um... I don't know. It, it, it's one of those... Because to me, it's pretty obvious that, like, at some point, Mesmer was definitely in Lindell. She's addicted to the poke now. I am addicted. It's pretty fun. But at some point, Mesmer definitely Mesmer and Melina definitely did end up in Lane Dell. And then Merica was like, you know what? Since we can't break the curse, let's just get revenge. Let's just kill the people who massacred my people. And then Mesmer was like, sure, and I'll take it up a notch. I'll absolutely just destroy everything and everyone. Mesmer has no chill. <laughs> It was crazy. But yeah, it was, I don't know. I just, I also kind of think that like, here's the other things that are bugging me, chat. Can you give me anything for this? What the fuck is going on with Torrent? Did Torrent come here, here with Mikola? And then when he realized that something was wrong with Mikola, he found Melina, who is a spirit now, by the way. Found Melina and was like, we need to find someone to stop Mikola, right? Torrent. What the fuck is going on with Torrent? Because that's also been bugging me. And then what else is bugging me? There's no Melina lore, bro. Where is my Melina lore? If I got, like, a sliver of Melina lore, aside from, like, Mesmer had a sister, I would cry for, like, an hour. Exactly. Because <sighs> it's just bugging me. Because there's, like, literally, Miyasaki gave a Swiss cheese. He was like, it's beautiful and it's wonderful, but it's got a gazillion holes in it. Now patch it. Torrent's unique reaction to the Abyss is something to think about. Right? You cannot summon him there because he's scared. Now, if he has his connection to Melina, and that connection... We gotta figure out where these rocks are, Chad. Does anyone know where these are? I might have to look it up. Because he's scared of the Frenzy Flame, and Melina hates the Frenzy Flame. This was the other thing I wanted to talk about. I think... What is his name? Midra? I think he's Mesmer and Melina's dad. I do, I do, I do, I do. Mr. Frenzy Flame. Midra. I think Midra is Mesmer and, and, America, and, and Melina's dad. I do think that. I think because I think he was married to America. And I think that because of what happened to his people, because I think his people are America's people, 
Because think about how the Frenzy Flame gets brought about. It gets brought about because of anger and madness and massacre in unfair ways and just like being angry, right? And wanting revenge, like it just festers, right? I think that he wanted to use the Frenzy Flame to get revenge, but it's such a horrible, awful thing that like Melina or Merica had to stop him by putting that torture device in him. Because remember that torture device, his weapon is a Golden Order weapon, which implies that they came back here and then stabbed him in the top of the head with it. <laughs> and who's Nanaya? That's what I was about to get to. Nanaya, she has an item. <sighs> it is a spine. It is a torch of a spine with frenzy eye at the top. I think Nanaya showed up later because she knew that in order to let the frenzy flame get stronger, it had to fester. So she shows up when she realizes, kind of like Shabriri, she just kind of shows up after everything has gone down as a worshiper of the frenzy flame and she just tells Midra to endure because she knows the longer he endures and he's angry and he's mad and he wants to prevent the frenzy, frenzy flame from like coming out, the more powerful it will be when it does eventually get released on the world, right? I think she showed up and she just kind of kept like, you know, poking the bear. But it says that Midra was too weak to be the Lord of Frenzy Flame. He was because we killed him. He was too weak because we killed him. <laughs> Because then also, because think about it too, it seems like the merchant's hatred was so awful and intense and what happened was so horrible, they literally spawned a unique set of three fingers that was able to give, it, it already said he was too weak, yeah. So then here's the thing. So the, fr the merchant spawned the three fingers who in turn gave the power of the frenzy flame to us if we choose it. We have to be naked for it. I think he was too weak because I think he didn't really want to be the Lord of Frenzy Flame. He was just so angry that like it kind of just spawned from him and he was trying to fight it. Because when we do go in there and beat him up in phase 45, he tells us that we're fools for coming here and basically warns us that it's dangerous to be there. He was too weak. But I do think that maybe why Melina hates the Frenzy Flame so much, not just because it's a truly horrible and terrible thing. Oh, you fucking, what the fuck, bro? It's a dragonfly, it's gonna kill me. Not just because it's a truly horrible and awful thing, but also because I think Melina understands firsthand just how awful it is because she's seen it happen to people she knew. Or she's seen it affect people that she knew. We gotta try to find these rocks again, chat. There's a section I have not seen yet, and I want to see it now. Mm. What is this called? Rao Ruins. Rao Ruins. Um. Oh my god, first thing that comes up. Can't find the springs. Help. Yeah. Huh? So is Misdra the first consort of Merica? I think so, or maybe not consort. I think he was just like the head of the family. And so it would be Merica was Midra's consort, question mark. Because the way that the painting shows it is that it's like a pregnant woman standing next to him and not like, he's like, he's like the center of the painting. We need to find it. If you go to the side of Grace, turn left and go to the temple. You'll find the elevator in there and go up to the higher level. After that, you walk on the temple. The temple has water. Hold on. Let me go buy a shackle really quick. I'll just grab the shackle and see if I can use that. <laughs> yeah, I don't... That's the thing. Is I do really feel like Nidra... I really think Midra is the dad of Mesmer and Melina. 
I think that they're definitely connected. I think he's definitely connected to Merica. I think that painting is enough. Because the girl in the painting has gold hair, or blonde hair, and Nanaya has black hair. Thank you for the follow. Nanaya has black hair. We see her body, and her hair is not blonde. <laughs> okay, Patches, where's your bell? Shoot. Patches, give me that. Okay, going back. Ah, oh, there's just so many things. Vadi! Vadi, where are you? <laughs> I need Vadi here right now. I need him to explain everything to me. I need him to explain. Now they just say use it. They don't really say anything else. So I'm gonna just use it. Let's see if it works. Ah, oh, chat, we need more lore. Yeah, my brain has been working in overdrive. I'll like sit there and I'll be like working and then I'll be like, oh my God, I'm gonna be doing that for the rest of my life. Holy shit. So you can just use Margaret, sh you can just use the shackle on top of the rocks and it'll just break it. Woohoo! Oh shit, chat, what's up here? Lore? Give me lore. just takes us up here we've already been here chat how do i get here what the heck is this gonna have to start staring at doors in game to see if they tell me secrets see there is a danger in that though because sometimes they just reuse assets <laughs> or they just use like other assets and it definitely oh i think i have been over there i want to check i still want to double check though to make sure i actually have for real yeah okay i think i have i just wanted to make sure because i was concerned that i had like missed an entire section which I kind of did, because I think I just came over here and like panicked, ran around, and then ran away. Yeah, there's still so much like unanswered stuff. Because like, what about Melina? What about Torrent? Like, what did Torrent have anything to do with this? Like, I think I understand Mikola's play in all of this. I think I understand why Saint Trina doesn't want Mikola to become a god. I think that like. I think there's a lot of things that, like, make a lot of sense, but, like, I don't know. So, a lot of the stuff also still makes absolutely no sense. Also, guys, I found a cool, um, summon. I found a finger creeper summon. Did you know there's a finger creeper summon? I don't do magic. Why did Mikola offer his horse to a person who would go against him? See, that's what I'm saying. Is Torrent Mikola? And I'm not really sure. Like, like why? I also don't get it either. Poke him to death. Poke him to death. Poke. No. Oh, get back here. Poke him. I need a longer poking stick. Hold on, I have one. Ow, bitch. What the fuck? Poke. 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 Ow. I, I, it almost makes me wonder if Torrent... Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe Mikola thought that we wouldn't be greedy and that we would just fall for him. Maybe dying as a god was part of his plan now that he is an entity even beyond reality. That's true. Why do we think Torrent belonged to Mikola? Because there's artwork of Mikola on Torrent. Or like a Torrent-like creature. Bro, let me poke you. Ja! 
die! <laughs> I need a longer poking stick. <laughs> Hold on, I have one. I just have to find it. This one. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Yeah. that That's why it's bugging me, because we literally did get art of Mikola on Torrent, which is why I almost wonder if, like, if, like, Mikola like, came here on Torrent, and then Torrent was like, I don't know if this is right. Like, almost like Torrent, kind of? Had a bad feeling, and found Melina, and then, like, together they were like, well, let's find someone who can, like, become the Lord, and, like, I don't even know, man. It's so confusing in my brain. Because he reached godhood in Radon's fight. True, he did. Mikola Radon remind you of the Lion of God on Godwin? Wait, have I tried the scythe yet? Oh, I haven't. Oh, maybe I should try. Hold up, before I forget. Obsidian Lamia? Ugh. Whoa. Whoa, oh, hold up. Pretty. It's cute. I like it. Mm, did Mikola? Oh, have you tried? Did Mikola on Radon remind you of the line on God? It, it did. It really did. Yeah. It or or um Godfrey. Yeah. I think it's a. Uh, yeah. 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 Ooh, nice. Oh, that guy's got a shining pot. Come here. That's the one. What if that wasn't Mikola, but a young Merica? <gasps> I mean, but it's the same outfit and the same hair. So I don't know if I'm... Mm, that's the one. It's a disgusting weapon. It seems pretty sick. Wait, where's the guy with the pot? They even had the same role. Quell... Going some sort of frenzy. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They absolutely did. Yes, true. Where is the guy with the pot? He ran away. I think he disappeared. Seems like it's a poise breaker. Just a little bit. I mean, these are kind of pleb enemies, but... Seems like it does pretty decent poise damage. With the Ash of War, at least. Oh no, these guys... Hmm. Hold on, let me show you guys my pokey stick. My other pokey stick. Where's my pokey stick? Wait, what's this? Bikes War Spear. Oh. Where's my pokey stick? Where's my other one? I have a really cool one. This one. Yeah. Also, we we learned how the formless mother came about. It came about because cannibals like being cannibals. That's it. That hurt. Weapons of the same type have the same poise damage. It deals the same poise damage as other reapers. Oh, it does? Wow. And Mo thought he was onto something, stupid idiot. Yeah, no. He wasn't. The formless mother literally came about because they saw the corpse of their ancestor and, like, well, I mean, by technicality, the formless mother really is a type of god. It's just that she was like, made from, like, cannibalism, basically. I don't know. That's what I got out of it. She was, like, created. She exists. She's scary. But yeah, we were gonna go back. 
what a ding is. Moog is a ding is. Well, Moog also got tricked by Mikola and, um... Yeah. Poor Moog. I... Now I almost feel bad for him. Like... And, and if we're to be believed... I think Moog wanted to kill Mikola, but then Mikola charmed him. Or something like that. And then it just all went downhill from there. Which still almost doesn't really explain the whole Mikola's body thing. Which I guess he wouldn't care because he was going to divest himself of his body anyway. Become a... Become a god. So I guess he wouldn't really mind, right? Get your butts in here. You guys think you're cool. Die. Ow! Die. Die. Everything must die. Ow! <laughs> die. I almost feel bad for Mo, but at the same time, I'm also like, meh, well, meh. Yeah. Poor guy was just getting used by everyone. Hated by his mother simply because he existed. Oh, man. So what, what process was Mikla going to send to Godhood? The same way his mother did. Because he di by divesting themselves of their flesh and then. See, you know what though? Oh my lord, that does not explain what the fuck Merica was doing at the beginning of the trailer. Where she like reaches in and there's the slurpy noise and she pulls out the rune arc and she's like, ah, right? That doesn't make any sense. Where, what is that? What's going on with that? Ah, uh, my brain. She can't handle it. I thought being the vessel for the Elden Ring is what made Merica a goddess. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe Mikola thought that... Yeah, he... Well, this is called the Gate of Divinity. So the Horn Scent made this tower... Mostly on the body of a whole civilization. Look at how many horn scent. Oh shit, these are corpses of horn scent. Oh shit, there we go. America did do something fucked. I mean, well, not all of them though. Some of them are not. There's a lot of corpses here. Anyway, the whole thing, the whole tower is made out of corpses, bro. I don't make the rules. But this is the chan- th this is actually a gateway for, like, contacting gods. The horn scent made this tower to talk to gods. Is what I kind of got out of it. So, like, maybe he was hoping that, like, after killing us and having his lord consort, he could, like, talk to a god who would then, like, tell us. I want to see what's here. To see, even the pillars are made out of people and everything. Like, everything is made out of people in this tower. This whole tower is made up of people. So they could talk to the gods. Let me up. <sighs> no! If there's a freaking wall. <laughs> Fuck you! Aw. Nicholas seemed to not want any god's influence. Yeah, see, and that's... So it was almost like he wanted to do the thing that, like, Ronnie does, but Ronnie did it right. And Mikola was just kind of flying by the seat of his pants. Because even, think about it, even Ronnie divested herself of her flesh. There's a fucking secret. There's a fucking wall. Ugh, I just want to go up. I want to see. Perfect for the tarnished. <laughs> True. We are the Elden Lord. We should be able to climb these steps. I know. I just want to see. I just want to see. What if there's a secret? Let me in. I thought we were going to be able to go up to the top and then... And then... And then... 
Exactly. I thought we were going to be able to go up to the top and then there was going to be like a seed and it was going to be super epic. Instead, all we got was sadness. I mean, we did see a seed. We saw Mikola crying. And he was like, Radon, promise me you'll marry me. And Radon was like, no, because I'm a Giga Chad. I don't need you. I love the Golden Order. And then Mikla was like, fine. Melania, get him. And Melania was like, sure thing. And he was like, and also I'll get kidnapped by Moog in the process. It's a perfect plan. I really feel like Mikla really planned the entire thing on purpose. The whole thing was just a plan. They're not stupid. Any idea what the Golden Thread America was holding in the story trailer? I'm pretty certain those are... Well, my guess is that they're rune arcs. Like a, almost like a calling card of sorts. What is the point of us in the DLC to stop Mikola from becoming a god? So he wouldn't make the same mistakes as Merica. The point of us is to is still what the according to the DLC, our point is to just fix the Elden Ring and become Merica's consort. That's our entire purpose. That's why Merica brought us back. It's why she brought Godfrey back. Oh, I wanted to try on their clothes. Hold on, let me get naked really quick. I want to try their clothes on. Put your clothes on me. Put your clothes on me. Where is your clothes? Oh my god, I'm cosplaying as an old man. I am now old. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're twids. Tell me what the difference is. You can't. We look the same. We are still consortless. I guess that's what when she searched her godhood and wait. I guess that's when she reached her godhood and hides the land of shadows. Probably. Well, I think the land of shadows gets hidden later, after Mesmer gets sicked on everybody, and then after they're like, "Holy shit, Mesmer did something truly horrible." Let's just pretend like no one exists. We are consortless. We killed Merica. We killed the, um, mm, that's a terrible canon storyline. Well, so is Dark Souls. <laughs> so is the Dark Souls canon storyline. Because we just continue the the flame. Like, we just continue, we just continue, it just continues. That's how it is. <laughs> the Elden Lord is the current god or goddess's consort, yeah. But we killed Merica, because Merica is Radagon. Technically, there's nothing left of Merica, really, but she's the only one who can hold the Elden Ring. And so we just fix it and whatever body is left for that she has just like hanging out and we just continue the age of the Earth Tree as best as we can in this really broken and shit world. It's not the best ending. It's not the best storyline. Obviously, Ronnie is the best one. Erica's still the best one. Radagon is currently the sword I use to genocide Albanarix. True! Merica's still the vessel. I'm we're still genociding Albanarix, and I'm using Radagon to do it. True. So we are married to a corpse. Technically. <laughs> Technically, yeah. <laughs> that uh, our the point of the consort is to protect Merica and to protect the Golden Order. And even though we technically killed her in the process because she is Radagon and the Elden Beast, we still achieved our, her goal, which was to, I don't know, repair it. I don't even know. It's so confusing. Why is everything so confusing? Hold on, let me put on... Miyazaki, I'd like to have a seat with you. I would like to sit down and talk. Oh my god, what if St. Trita- Never mind, I'm not gonna- <laughs> I was about to make a, a joke. I'll make it anyway. Oh my god, what if St. Trina is the Glomide Queen because St. Trina is purple? Uh, where the hell? Perfumer's gloves? Aha, there you go. 
Theolillar's gloves and Theolillar's pants. <laughs> I love this outfit. It's so funny. I'm so sleepy. And in Bloodborne, we just continue training hunters. Exactly. Yep. The canon, the canon storylines are not, or the canon storylines are like, they're not awesome. <laughs> like the other endings we can pick. But that's just how Miyazaki is going to be able to continue the storyline for later. So we married a corpse, a corpse or a doll. We are simps. True. I'm a mega simp. But is America really the source of our apparent immortality? Or are we under the influence of an unseen power trying to influence the world made out of balance by America and her spawn? See, that's up for... I mean, we can say that's up for debate, debate. But I'm pretty certain America is the one. Because, I mean... But I guess, who knows? Because it... As far as we know, the greater will abandoned. The greater will's a little bitch. The greater will was like, well, things aren't going the way I wanted. I wanted things a certain way, but America's making it hard. So I believe it. And then it abandons, right? Like we know that the greater will abandoned and abandoned all its children, the fingers. And that's been mentioned many, many times. So like, Unless there's a god that's never mentioned, I'm pretty certain Merica is the one who gives us grace and tries to influence us to do what she wants, right? But I don't know. Did you get it? As soon as I cheese with a good shield, I got it first try. <laughs> How are you doing, Bolty? I did. I did it. How are you? How is your playthrough going? Look at my clothes. It's needles. That must be really itchy. Oh, and look, there's a little St. Trina thing on there. Eh. We look so silly. Congrats, I almost beat Rolana, but then my controller died, so I took a break. No! Oh, that's so pain. Yeah. But Bolty, I'm so mad. We can't actually go up the stairs. Melanie's dialogue and memories of America suggest America wanted an upheaval of the old order. Yeah. As far as, I mean, and obviously if she didn't want an upheaval, then she wouldn't have wanted us to burn the earth tree. But funny enough, grass stops influencing us in the main story after we burn the tree. So once you kill Malakath, there's actually no more grace guiding us in the Ashen Capital because she actually wants Godfrey to become her consort again. And he has grass that's pointing at us in the arena. Have you ever noticed? <laughs> I died and my controller died at the same time. What? That stinks. Yeah, there's like an invisible wall. Like we can't climb up. The stairs are broken and there's an invisible wall preventing us from getting up here. We don't want to be we don't want to be gods. We just want to be simps. That's the entire premise. It's so quiet up here now. Not to mention America broke the Elden Ring herself, yeah. And whether she broke it because she just went insane or because she had a purpose and that purpose was to break the golden order and Godwin was just the catalyst, perfect catalyst for that. I guess that remains to be seen. So cool, isn't it so sick? It's so good. I'm so sad and, and it's over. It's so jover. It's so lonely. I'm so lonely. Even after I marry, even after I get married, chat, to America, I'm still lonely. America won't even talk to me. She's fucking dead. Normal DLC, Sag, yeah. I know, I'm like, I feel, I don't know, it's bugging me. I really feel like I'm missing something. And I know that I think we've covered everything, but like, I do feel like I'm missing something and it's really gonna bug me. I wanna check one more thing if I can. Yeah, there's just, oh, there's so much to unpack. Buddy, I need to call Vadi. Because we're totally friends. I'll be like, Vadi, help. Vadi, help me. Help us understand, Lord of Lore. We need to understand. 
This quest was also super interesting too. Don't fall down. Is there anything extra after? I want to check in here. You always have to check. Just in case. We got a lot of lore about the fingers. <laughs> Funny enough. Of all the things to give us lore, we got lore on the fucking fingers. Like a ton. <laughs> Smoketown is really good too, so you're happy with whoever releases first? Yeah, whoever releases first... I did see Vadi posted like a playthrough of the first area where he was going really slow and low and like trying to cover everything he found. So I I will probably watch that because he's very insightful when he does them. His own like playthroughs. Hello? 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 Anyone home? Nope. Let's go into the cursed place. Funny to know the greater will is gone, gone, yet the fingers keep feigning guidance from him. I know, it's hilarious. I think it's so funny. A bunch of cuckoos, yeah. We killed the mother of fingers, so no more fingers. Nope. No more fingers. You guys, this was the super mega secret boss of the DLC. She wasn't that hard. She was kind of awkward, and I was having frame problems with her. <sighs> you know what I want more than anything? I want to just sit down at a grass and have Melina talk to me just one more time. I killed her. It was me. I mean, she made a choice, but also it's my fault. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but who wants to admit that they were abandoned by their own parent? I don't think anyone wants to admit that. Okay, I'm just double checking spaces. Oh, let's see here. Just double checking spaces in case I miss anything. I'm really, I'm really, I just want more. Chad, I'm being a weenie. If Mikola resurrected, we're done to be a concert. Why can't we bring back Melania? We just need a body. Well, when you kill Melania, she turns into an Aeonian bloom. I don't think she's dead. Because if you do Millicent's questline, where you betray her, she also becomes an Aeonian Bloom. And he says that she'll come back when Melania becomes a real god, basically. Perfect, we just need a body. Mine. I, I set myself up as... I will do it. <laughs> Needs to be a demigod body, I imagine. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, can we get inside the mouth? Oh, ooh, scary. <laughs> Also, did you guys know you can see Placidiusax's heads on Bale's body? I saw a picture. I think Shaw shared it in the Discord. There's also like one stuck in its wing too. Can we just use patches to redeem Redon? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> patches! Come here! Actually, patches in my game is gone. He gave up. So that's why I got his bell bearing. Hmm. Hmm. Surely we can save one of the bodies. Yeah. In the game... In the game, um, <laughs> so we see their bodies disappear in a bunch of stardust. But in reality, their bodies are there. <laughs> their bodies are there, and they exist. Godwin's body is no bueno, as is Ronnie's. True. They're. Mm -mm. That's the other thing too. Can, does someone, can someone tell me something? They mentioned that the Death Knights were guarding the surrogate of 
him, of him, him. They would show you. Unbroken loyalty. Yeah, let's see. The decay enhances the skills of Dragon Cole. Okay, nope. I need a chesticle. Where's my chesticle? Chesticle, show yourself. Oh god, I'm getting too many armor sets. Death Knight. Death Knight? Knight of Death. Death, 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 death. Death. These knights once served personal guard, quested to find their transfigured master's cadaver surrogate for the coming age of the Duskborn. What does that mean? They went out to find their master's cadaver surrogate. What does that mean? Can someone interpret that for me? Or what is your opinion of that? Because there's giant cadavers, like, from Storm... There's one in Stormvale. But then there's also, like, the ones here in the Shadowlands. And how come the ones in the Shadowlands are more prevalent? What the fuck is up with that? Wrong way. Ronnie's body's still good, I think. Um, I don't know if Ronnie's body's still good. <laughs> I mean, we can certainly try. <laughs> um, but I I'm not super convinced. Oh, Lord, we're heavy rolling. Here, I'll just take this off. Okay, got it. Um, where is the scythe? I want to poke people with it. You know what I want to use? I'm about to look like a weenie. But it doesn't matter because I think it's visually sick. A whip and a scythe. Shit's dope as fuck. Oh, I don't have the whip out. Get your booty cheeks back here. Hiya! Just a charred consort. Yeah, it's just super, like, double fried. I think maybe the offshoots of Godwins that appear in other places is what the surrogates are. Let's see. I guess that makes sense. I was just curious. <gasps> ah! I wasn't afraid. I knew that was there. The most clean cut stories in the DLC was Bale and then the fingers. Which of all the things that I would have wanted lore for, the fingers being like the thing was not what I was expecting. <laughs> was not expecting to understand them ever. I was just like, yeah, they exist, and now I know way more than I do about Melina, who literally spends the entire base game playthrough with me until. She, um, uh, she, something happens to her. I can't talk about it. More about the fingers, Janet. Take out with her eels. According to Twitch, they're eels, not worms. Even though they are literally worms. Someone needs to fix that. You know what's cool too? What is that Bible story about the people who tried to build a tower up to the gods? I feel like Miyazaki got some inspiration from that story from the Bible. The Tower of Babel. Ah, yeah, Babel. I just remembered it right as you typed it. We have the same brain. There's nothing else here. I'm coming back here because the other one where the bear guy was, there was like another thing here on his island. So I just wanted to check on hers again. Scary for you. <laughs> we are on the same wavelength. <gasps> so pretty here. Maybe I'll go sleep with St. Trina. <gasps> oh my god! No. It doesn't even show the NPC anymore. <sighs> Chat, what do we do now? Oh, 
Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to watch Zuli the Witch's video where she unmasks all of the people. I kind of want to see. Sorry, Mikola. Remember, St. Trina was Mikola's love. That's why they can't be separate. Because they're not separate people. They're just a part of each other. So that makes sense. <sighs> Literally zero and things interact with. I will say that we deserve to be able to grow 12 feet taller. I agree. Did you kill Rakshasha? Who the fuck is Rakshasha? Do it. Radon, Mo, Godwin, all these fools get to be giants. Why can't we just decide to be giants? Because Feral. They're all demigods. We're just human. We have to become a demigod. Yeah, true. This is what the pyramid. Greater will in the primal. The outer gods. Regular gods like Merica. Demigods. Humans. And it ascends the opposite way. Rakshasha is a mausoleum boss. Great katana. Oh yeah, no, I definitely killed Rakshasha. I have the great katana. Because I was like, that's lame. <laughs> well, Godfrey was the first tarnished, but he's also a giant, so I don't know. Well, I mean, Mikola also was a demigod, and Mikola was little. Mikola seemed normal-sized. Seemed like it, kind of. Where's my great katana? Yeah, I think I killed Rakshasha. Yeah, great katana! Yeah! Oh, wait, I can't slash in here. Fuck, we gotta leave. <laughs> oh, wait, I just come out here. Named Great Katana. No, the other one. That's not it! I didn't! Where the fuck is it? Show me now! Now! I'm gonna be aggressive! Where is it, chat? I need it. Oh my god. <gasps> no! We killed the final boss and not- And we're still missing a boss? Oh my god, we're blessed. But also not really, but also yes. Where? Oh my god, this changes everything. I have to be serious again. Uh <laughs> um serious fashion outfit. Rakshasha? Who the fuck is Rakshasha? Slimy down here, chat. Imagine gra <laughs> imagine cat grabbing acting by the neck and shaking vigorously while it's like, tell me now! Tell me now! <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! Trina, I imagine that, like, when Mikola was like, here I abandoned... Exactly. Here I abandoned my love. He was just like, I don't want to play with you anymore. And then, like, pushed Saint Trina off the cliff. <laughs> That's what I imagine. Hold on. Rock cha cha cha. Rock cha cha? Yes. That's it. Precisely. Rock cha ha ha. What the fuck? Rock. Sha sha. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> I have not fought this. Here, I've got it. Where are you? The ruins of Unti? Hmm. Southeast of the ruins of Unti. Oh. Wait, we went there before. This is ruins. Southeast, you said? Southeast. All right, Fextra, I'm going to put some trust in you. Because extra is untrustworthy. Southeast. Which way is southeast? That way. Oh shit. It's just that way. Go. This is the only time I'm ever putting trust in them. I'm in a GM, so I can't explain. That is super fair. Please hurry and win faster. <laughs> Is 
It scared the shit out of me. Here, we'll just go along the cliff. <gasps> Wait! Oh no, we've been to this grass. Okay. I was like, oh my god. Did we miss this grass? Do I just have to go along or did I go too far already? No! Eh. Oh shit. Follow the river and go down with it. Okay. That's kind of what I did before. I'm surprised that I didn't ever... Um... Not like that, though. <laughs> there was a hole! I didn't see the hole! <laughs> Sorry, chat. Uh... Oh my god. Oh my god, there will be a secret scene after I beat every boss. <laughs> Oh shoot. oh shoot, it's the mega puker! <laughs> okay. Oh, I think I see maybe where. <gasps> Item! Oh my god, there's a section! <gasps> there's a section! Oh my god, this changes everything. We have to kill every boss so we can get the super secret scene. Did you ever go back to the dancing lion thing that you killed- that you killed yourself to escape from? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I did not. I don't wanna. Dry leaf sail? Something just killed itself. What the fuck you- HA! The fuck? Bird, how did you get down here? How do I get out of here? Screw this. There's no- I'm so sorry. Oh, you can keep going down? Wait, maybe I'm making a mistake. I think that the thing might be the other direction. Where the hecking heck am I? Yeah, I didn't go back to that lion. Does that lion give anything good? Because oh my god, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I d I'm so sorry. You're not making a mistake. Okay. <laughs> Why did I say that so aggressively? You're not making a mistake. Urgh. No mistakes. I never make mistakes. Whoa. Hi. Nice. <gasps> it's here! Holy shit, chat. This is huge. I didn't know. Eastern Nameless Mausoleum. Come in. Come in. Rakashasha! It's you! Holy shit, she did a lot of damage. Uh, no! How come she does so much damage? Jesus Christ! Rakashasha, give me your clothes. Rakashasha? I don't know how to say her name. <laughs> she can two-shot me. I should be careful. I know what to do. Maybe I shouldn't. I should stop being a shield user. I should stop now before it's too late. Should 
put on a helmet. I'm gonna look at all the boss weapons I have and then check against you. Okay, sick. And we can know. Hi, -ya! has hyper armor during that. Stop hitting me. Stop it. Use the sunflower. That's what I did. <laughs> I can't use the sunflower. I don't have enough faith. I might have the wrong talismans on also. I may have the wrong talismans on. Give me just a second. I do. I have the wrong talismans on anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Um, this one. Don't worry, chat. We're good. We're, we'll be fine. Yeah, you don't have faith in Mikola. Ew! Imagine having faith in Mikola. Gross. You know what I want faith in? I want faith in Radon. I want Radon to be my consort. Ow! Stop spamming your Ash of War! What the fuck? I'm stuck! <laughs> Stop it. Why do you have so much help? Oh, she roll caught me. She has hyper armor during that cat. I almost said chat. I need to remember. She's roll catching me. Stop it. Stop it! Whoa. No! <laughs> what the fuck is up with this woman? She's crazy. I mean, I assume she, yeah? Rakshasha sounds like a girl's name. For some reason. What's the weapon that I always bully NPCs with? Oh, no, it's not an it's not a weapon. Wild strikes. You can bully NPCs with wild strikes. It is. Hmm. Poison flower blooms twice. Spamming? What? What is wrong with you?
don't think she can get bled. I like this as reward. Lose while she has one HP. I'm gonna scream. There we go. <laughs> yeah, super easy. No problems. How come she was so? She was. She was scary. Rakshasa's great katana. Oh my god, is it a giant rivers of blood? Is it oceans of blood? Rakshasa's. Oh my god, I've seen this armor set. Rakshasa. Sounds like a cool little song. It is just a strength and faith. I mean, a strength and dex weapon. Holy nut. Let's go. Thanks, Bolty. The Great Katrana. Katrana. Yeah, that's right. With the tempering pattern of its blade forever stained red with blood. Weapon of Rakshasha. Who cuts down and devours. A berserker's weapon used to endure enemy attacks and reply with one's fury. When attacking the wielder is less likely to stagger from counterattacks, but also takes increased damage. Yeah, true. Quality players rejoice! True! Yeah, because this has bleed on it. It's only strength and dex. Perform scythe-like horizontal swings with the sword, cutting men down as if they were weeds. Additional input allows for a continuation of the attacks um, for as long as stamina remains. Sick. She could just... She was running out of stamina. We put their clothes on. Wait a second. This looks kind of like... Helm of Rock Sasha, soaked in the spurting blood of her victims. Jump L1, jump L1, jump L1, true. Patterns of ragged cloth jut out haphazardly as if her lust for carnage threatens to break free. Increases damage dealt to foes, but gracefully increases damage taken by the wearer. Cut down, devour. Only those who repeat the cycle without rest can truly subvert the self and become Rock Sasha. That's me power stancing them. Hiya! Hiya! <laughs> True. He cub one, one with the blood. She was violent. I like her. Armor of rocks, Tasha. It's the same thing. Armor of rocks, Tasha. Shit, I can't say her name. What is wrong with me? Rocks, Tasha. Oh. So I will do more damage, but everyone will murder me. Love it here. Hey, yeah! That is such a lit. That is like a super step on me move. Incredible. Actually, incredible. Oops. Pretty sure you got everything? Yeah, okay, sick. I can't believe I missed the boss. Uh -huh. Oops. <laughs> I mean, there's always one, right? And there is the divine guy, but I like, I would rather die than fight him. <laughs> um, how the fuck do you get down there? Oh, I've been down there. Right? Yeah, I have. I have. In drama. Nice. Well, we did it, chat. Maybe we'll end a little bit early. Divine guy? Yeah, there's another one of the divine beasts up here, and he's fucking awful. This one. Right? Is it this one? Or where? Which, which one? This one, right here. There's another divine beast here. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Unless you want to cry. I literally jumped off the cliff because I didn't want to fight him. I was scared. How can you just let him go? Because I don't want to... Because it's too painful. You have cheese now. Can, can, can I block Blight, though? Importantly, have you fought this guy? Because this guy has Death Blight. I can't block Death Blight with my shield. I will die. 
Yeah. <laughs> There's a he has a new instead of what frost, he has death blight, and I was like, Haha, I'm leaving, and I jumped off the cliff because <laughs> I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to handle it. You can make bullets, but then that means I have to eat them. <laughs> and I don't wanna. I just wanna be sad about the fact that the DLC is now over. And now so is my life. Just kidding. It's been a wild, like, week, basically. Holy busy. What has it been? Six days in a row? Time to play it again. Yeah, or on a different character. Yeah. I, I think I might try to, like, play it offline a bit. Like, I'm, I won't lie, I'm feeling very burnt, burnt. I'm feeling burned. I'm ready to take a break. Because I've been grinding hard. And this DLC was no joke. This thing was hard. This was, might be one of the hardest things ever. It's very difficult. The difficulty level was insane. Super fun but very exhausting. So yeah. I think I think we'll we could call it here today. <laughs> Kate. Kate is like, "Yes, it's time." Yeah. We did it. We won new game plus plus plus. Oh my lord. <laughs> new game plus plus plus, huh? I think I will cry. Understandable you sure have. Yeah. I'm like <sighs> So many days. I mean, it was super fun and I've had such a great time with chat. Like, you guys are really awesome. You guys are what... Not to get emotional or anything. But you guys are what make it fun. This is why I do this. Because I just have such a good time with you guys. And just, like, being feral and weird and living my best life, you know? Oh. Oh. Is that... Oh. It is bugging out um it's been wonderful but i am ready to like have some chill days you know come here say hi to chat thanks for the stream hopefully dlc seamless co-ops comes out sometime soon i hope so too what's up seamless co-op say hi kate Yeah, but I have uh, some chill day. I mean, work isn't going to be chill. It's busy. <laughs> but I'll have a really chill Friday. Let's find somebody to raid chat. Unless anyone has anything else for me. I think we're good. I think we've, we've done what we wanted to complete. I'm very proud. Now I'm totally free. Now I can go look and see what I missed. And, and wait for Vadi to bless me. I'm so blessed, so blessed. Oh my God. I'm so excited for lore videos. Me freaking too. I saw Vadi posted a video of him going through the first area. It's like an hour long. And I was like, oh, I have to watch. <laughs> but I wanted to finish first before I started deep diving into like, people's theories more than I already have because I I literally Shaw shared like a timeline of Mesmer's life tweet and I read the whole thing and I was like oh. I was like oh my lord holy shit <laughs> it, it's gonna be insane like this DLC causes so much like there's so much I don't even know I feel like I have just like way more questions than answers. So hopefully someone can like break it down for me because my brain only works half the time anyway. It's been fun to watch you play through DLC. It's been fun having you here, Chef. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. You guys made this great. We crushed the goal. So at some point, I'm not going to say it's like the next thing we're going to do because I don't think I'm ready for that. We are going to do rune level one in the DLC. And we're only, I'm only planning on, I'm not going to fight every single Remembrance boss. That will make me throw up. But I will try to fight the bosses I think are really fun. 
and uh like lord of frenzy flame is obviously going to be in that like i want to do it now hit run it no hit run it or did you mean did you mean no hit run it because absolutely not <laughs> but we do have other um elder ring things in the works and possibly coming soon so but i might take a break and maybe play something else on stream um just to kind of get like some chill gotta revisit the best runs rolana yeah no hit okay that's what i thought you meant no way no hit no way kate is shaking my desk what are you doing hey what are you doing stop get your butt out here you're gonna hurt, break something stop. oh, oh no. true yeah, we'll definitely come back and play more Elden Ring for sure. I might play like another game that's like kind of just like chill. Maybe like story driven. Just to get like a breather and then get like back into it. I'll sure surely be playing the DLC offline. Surely. Maybe. But it's been great. Y'all are wonderful. You crushed the goals. You crushed my heart in a positive way. And yeah, I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. This is why I do this, because you guys are lovely. Let's raid out. I might take the weekend off. Um, I'm in debate right now just so I can have some like decompressing time. So that'll be up for debate. But if not, we'll be back on Monday with a new um a new thing. So yeah. How dare you? How dare I take time off after doing six days in a row? <laughs> How dare? <laughs> but I'll be in the Discord as per usual, always. And if you're not in the Discord, join us. Join us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's uh, hold on. Kate is in my way. Oh my lord, Kate is in my way. Help. Okay, there we go. <laughs> she Kern is playing Fallout. If you guys aren't following her, what the heck in heck are you doing? We love her here. She deserves all the love. So we'll see you guys later, probably next Monday. Thank you for giving me your time and your energy and being super wonderful people. Enjoy your time off. Thank you very much. Thanks for straight. Thanks for being here. I'm always around in the Discord. We can always do this. You know, I'm always willing to yap at any time. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being awesome. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>